Hey guys, that's where I'm at here. Welcome back to another episode of XCOM and the Long War Mod Iron Man Impossible. So, this episode is just a abduction heavy difficulty, so we can probably expect four pods worth of enemies. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anybody with Packmaster ready yet. Everyone's still fatigued, and this engineer um, is only a corporal, so he doesn't have repair yet. But we still have smoke and mirrors and gren grenadier and all the regular engineering perks. So we'll have him equipped with alien grenades for some cover breaking and some chem grenades in case we find anything pretty nasty. Uh, Mendiola is going to be leading this as our captain. Um, other than that, I'm br basically bring in the lowest trained people that I have, which are just corporals. I think I have like one lance corporal still who's a. Um, fatigued, or maybe the corporals are the lowest that I have now. I still have about two more squads worth of people to deploy, but I think most of you will come out fatigued in the next day or so, so I should be okay unless I get a very difficult mission. If I get like a transport and my more experienced people aren't back, I might skip that. Other than that, let's get started then. Alright, fortunately, I'm not gonna be able to capture any aliens, but. I recapture all the early game aliens and some of the mid game aliens as well, so I think it's alright. requested our help, so that's where we're going next. I already the captured the what's it called, Sectoid, Thin Man, major cities across the um, Muton, down there and deploy as soon there. as possible. Sectoid Commander as well. The only thing I'm missing that I've seen so far is a Berserker, and I saw I guess I saw a heavy floated ones too. Hey. Guess you never fixed the um, turn one. one is clear to engage. Turn one aliens. Well, the good thing is, this time it might be to my advantage. ET in sight. Engage neutralized. He's not under any cover either, so this might be okay for me. Where's my scout? You're gonna be doing a little running for me. Perfect. Yeah, I could just go after these. Nah, I think I'll just go out, finish off this mechtoid and then. Uh, what's it called? If I finish off this mechtoid, those sectoids are pretty much toast, anyways. These are heat ammo. So this turn one. Um, or this spawn camp actually works to my advantage, then. Okay, yeah, this is only light cover, so you guys are gonna get sight. I'm pretty happy. Can't complain. Cause these guys are are toast. Now oh, you need another scratch on the back. I'll give that to you in a sec. I'm on it, Commander. Fortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get sight on the rest. Should I fish off this mechtoid? Oh, he's almost dead. Maybe I'll. I'll use these on this, uh, what's it called, the sectoid then, sectoids, and then I, I'll probably finish off with an overwatch, if not, with red fog, he's definitely not going to be hitting anything. So thank you, long war. Now if all of these pods could be like that, life would be amazing. Continue mission. Let's not hit the wrong button now. That would be very embarrassing. Now I know you want to kamikaze towards me. Yeah, okay, I hear a lot of mechtoids, so. Uh, it's probably at least two more. I think I heard two mechtoids, right? That's not good. So. I might take the rooftop on this map since mechtoids won't be able to climb up onto the roof. I'm rolling. That's a good idea. Alright, here's another mechtoid wave. I was fine without reloading because I'm gonna be behind heavy cover. I can reload the rest of my team. That drone's dead. Kill. There's not much heavy cover, unfortunately. I think stick my low-profile people here. 
one one of you other one oh you probably have low profile no I thought there was two people with low profile was it you I think it was one of the scout right where oh yeah or my sniper there you are let's bring you over here the rest of you guys you can just hug hug here and maybe reload We'll just open up on this mech toy next turn. Maybe I should have rotated my infantry away and put a gunner here. I could have got a free overwatch, but... Yeah, well, I didn't think about that. Let's move you here in case. I think you're, you're safe where you are. And then we'll just try to alpha the mech toy next turn when he comes closer to, to us. We have a, a chem grenade and um, two gunners with heat ammo, so we should be okay. Might even overwatch. I didn't pop out. Okay. Um, and they didn't even psychic, psychically uh, give them a psi shield either. I don't have much idea where he is, unfortunately. Moving. So maybe we we'll move our scout and our sniper over here. Um, you're pretty tanky. I want to inch you up to this aye, aye, to the to the uh, wall. Okay, you spotted something. There you are. I can probably just hunker down with you to bait him forward. I think that's a great idea. Oh, that guy's over there. Okay. Hmm. Even if I take a shot from here, you'll only be under light cover, which worries me a little bit. Probably hunker you down then. Let's play it safely. Uh, Mechtoid still is pretty dangerous this early on in the game. So yeah, I'll hunker you down. Play it very defensively. I just want the Mechtoid come close to us. Yeah, looks like I will get my wish. Okay, his shield's almost stripped off. That's good. Dodge it. Great. Uh oh. That sucks. Ow. Uh, yeah, that's a little unfortunate. But. Other than that. A okay. Hey, let's retreat you. Some medical attention. And might just go for, we might go for a disabled weapon. There's not enough like terrain to fight around here. Let's move here, see if we can kill the sectoid. Yes we can. Most likely can. Well now we might be able to just alpha him. I don't want to peek to the right. There could be like an air pod to the right. Uh, many only will get two shots on this guy. This is why I wanted to put my gunner here right in my infantry. I want two heat ammo shots. So I gotta remember that on this map, what's it called? The terrain, terrain is easily breakable. Okay, I can probably shuffle my scout and I can shuffle my sniper over. Shuffle my scout here. I barely got. Oh, I got sight on him. Oh, yeah, that was my sniper. Okay, whatever. Take a shot, you. You're a nuisance. Let's see. My sniper here, then. Er, you know what I mean. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to kill this guy this turn. Let's like ramble him. I'm just afraid of triggering like in their wave. 
Okay, you can't do very much for me, so I'm just gonna stick you maybe like here. Now let's bring our infantry here so I can get you your medical attention. Alright. Heal you up. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna get sight from here anyway, so. Might as well just overwatch. I don't want likes, I don't want peek on that side. Probably keep Banzai towards us because that's what mech toids do. They're like ranged chrysalids if you think about it in a way. Okay, he's probably not gonna hit anything anymore. So let's just throw behind cover. Alright, that's good. Let's peek around here. If we see anything. Okay, we didn't. That's good. Let's kill the sectoid then. Perfect. You get revenge for that crit that you took. And then I think I'll have Mendiola finish you off. I got some nice bank music. Um, was that everybody? I'm gonna assume that was everybody. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this area is safe to move to because we, we moved everybody here originally. So we could inch up a little bit. Move towards the meld. But move a little slowly so we could take take a turn to reload everybody. Yeah, I'm not still not 100 percent sure. I think I killed everybody, right? I'm gonna assume I did. Killed the two sectoids over there, and the drone. Uh, no, the drone was from the first pod, right? Can't remember. I don't see its corpse. Reloaded. Was it from the second pod? Is there a drone corpse here? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, the drone was from the second pod. Okay, so I think I killed everybody then. So maybe I can make a few positioning moves. Okay. That's the case. Reload. Reload. Okay. Here's a uh, pod number two or three. That was I have trouble counting. Maybe this is why since I'm not so good at X cop. Zero percent? Is that a hundred? Okay, this even dropped to zero percent. Okay, now this is this can't be a very dangerous wave. So since, since my engineer's uh is my engineer in a good position? Where's my engineer? I think my engineer's like... Where is my engineer? One, two, three... Oh, there you are. Okay, might be able to... Do something nice. Hmm. Okay, we, we can try here. Yeah, I think I can break their cut. Can I throw it far enough? Uh, I saw like a little bit. No, not really. Man, it's because that this, this is a little wall chunk in the way. That, that's what I was worried about. Maybe I'll just throw it like this. I might be able to blow up this wall section. He's already under light cover though. If I can eliminate two of these guys, that would be pretty good, actually. Bien. Because... Those are grenades I don't have to worry about, I missed. Okay, I'm going to run and gun you forward. We're going to play a little aggressively, because I want to kill as many of these guys as I can this turn. I want multiple grenades. Against me. Um, oh man, I, I want to shoot at some one of these guys because I, otherwise I won't be able to see with anybody else. If 
I probably can't even kill. Okay, maybe I'll just go after you then. Okay, good. Where's my sniper? That's my scout. My sniper is here. Um, probably have to smoke up anyways this turn. I just don't like the terrain here because I'm not gonna get much cover. Well, I mean, I will get cover until they just blow me up. They all suppressed it. Probably retreat my medic then. I think it's the safest just to suppress this guy. There's gonna be two that I have to deal with. Yeah, if you we were just one faster, that would be. That could have been awesome. But alas, you were not. You have low profile, so maybe I could. That car's a little risky too. Okay. Uh, I would just have to take a risk, I think. Let me, uh, just let me disable the leader. 50% chance to disable him. Okay. You can still check a grenade though. Now see, if I smoke them, it's like just begging for them to toss grenades. Smoke you. So I have you. I, so I have one Overwatch as well. Make that two Overwatches. That could discourage them just a tad bit. This is probably gonna be the hardest wave, for sure. Oh, okay, he decided to just reload. That's fine. Okay. All right. I bought myself a turret. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And still another pot of mechtoids. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't bring a, a capture. Instead of capture stuff this turn, or this mission, because I wouldn't be able to take advantage of it anyways. And these aliens are way too dangerous for me to... Okay, I gotta hit one of those, which is, I think, the statistically favorable thing to do. Okay, so try to kill two of these guys. Okay, maybe I'll uh, rapid fire him. See if I get one of these shots. Nice! Awesome! Alright, 16% chance. Wonderful. Um, let's try to finish you off and then I might be able to suppress the other guy. Great. Still had plenty of backup shots in case that didn't work out so well. Suppressing him. I think I need to break his. Break his Overwatch. Let me just run my scout forward. Okay, just kidding. That did not happen. See, I feel like I can't tell if this wall is gonna block it or not. I really can't. And you have silent him, so it just makes me think that if I run here, I might just trigger it. Well, that's the case. Probably best just to overwatch everybody then. Does anybody need to reload? Nope. <laughs> And just react to him. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, everything's okay. Yeah, I don't care about the meld. This is actually a really difficult mission. Uh, still. Difficult. Ran out of... Ran out of ammo on some of my people. But I think we'll have plenty of shots to finish this guy off. 
And now I won't feel pressure to go crazy for Meld. I could just take take my time on this mission. That's how I like it sometimes. Uh, oh man. Come on now. Why is there a chance it hits so crappy? Okay, this guy is still like a threat because like, I just can't. I'm rolling. Okay, I can get you in range, I think. There we go. Please end my stress. I hate heavy floaters. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna sit here and reload. And on cue. Oh, there's a commander with them as well. He's a little isolated. We might be able to alpha him, which is what I like to do. And we definitely might be able to alpha him since he's right in front of Mendiola. Perfect. And then we'll only have to worry about the sectoid commander. Hey, I'm just gonna kill him. I'm not gonna play around. Come on, I don't need to hit one of these. Actually, maybe I should have double tapped this. Statistically, it would have been better to just fire. Statistically above, I think it's like 95% or so, it's better to just fire with one shot than to take with two. Maybe you forward. Might as well. Might as well just go for the kill. Alright, so... I think there's one more sectoid right and then the commander moving out and then we can head on home this is what I want to do well he doesn't like mind well he doesn't like run away and mind control my people that would be really annoying I can't even like go through the doors here since I is there a hole through this wall yet no not yet oh well um overwatch your team Hello. Nope. Target's still up. Oh, man. What are you gonna do? More of your mind control tricks? Okay, the commander's just going to... He's like, you go first! And I don't blame him. I would be exactly like that. Nah, we're not gonna waste a <laughs> grenade on that. On that fool. Now, I don't want to run ahead because that could risk me, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Having you get mind controlled. Where is he? He's, uh. I think he's behind that car. I'll just try to kill you by yourself. You with the commander later. Should be able to do it relatively easily. Head into that location. Rotations, rotations. Oh, he's almost dead. You can reload, my friend. Yes, that's what I meant to do. It's kind of a waste to just kill him with a grenade, right? Where I pick up the his parts. I'm just a cruel, sick, Xeno killer like that. Okay, actually, that's right, that, that door isn't open. It just looks like it is, so it kind of confuses me. Moving to designated position. And now we just deal with the commander, I can head on home. <laughs> I'm probably gonna try and mind control one of my guys. Oh, you have to try to take a shot. Oh. Well, that's kind of annoying because now I get another injury for no reason. Whatever, what a jerk. And now he could die too. I guess my infantry. Hello. 
Hello. He's hard to hit. Does he have like tactical sense? I'm just gonna look out curiosity. Yep. Oh wait. Whoops. Oh yeah, I have an autopsy yet. Everything by the number. Okay. So that was a. This is a pretty difficult mission. We got we lucked out on the first pod. Definitely could have gone a lot worse, I imagine. Especially if I ran to like a mechtoid and that um what's it called wave? The heavy floater wave. You guys are gonna be gone for a long ass time. You already got like hundred percent crit, so I don't need to give that for you. Uh lock and load would be pretty good for your since you have double tap or rapid fire. I always get those so you could be in repair. And sure, why not low profile? Let's see, we got more alloys, Illyrium, Meld. Meld I don't really care about. Because I need to build. Oh yeah, I also need to build what's it called? Um uh, the arm not armor piercing ammo. Not re oh uh, let me let me find it. Scope, no. That the thing for is it no? Thing that makes your your gunners your 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 shooter shooter people a little one damage stronger. What are those things called? Where are they? I saw it earlier. I I, I looked it up, but then I forgot. Uh, now I'm going to alloy jagged to the rounds for my ballistic weapons. There we go. I think I built six of them. Yeah, I think I built six because usually I I, I didn't. I don't need like eight enhanced beam optics. I, that's n never been needed like that. And I think I can sell a few things. If I sell some of these carbines, oh, I don't know how many carbines I need to be honest. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Sell some corpses. I really don't need more dead man corpses. So I can sell these. Um, uh, sell maybe a few of these. I'll probably get terror mission anyway soon. Some melt, and I want to build two more laser rifles, if possible, or not laser and Gauss rifles. Um, actually, I want to build four more Gauss rifles. Maybe I'll sell like ten more melt, or like fifteen more melt. I think that'll allow me to build three Gauss rifles. That'd be pretty good. Uh, screw that. I'm gonna go for four because that'll be enough to equip my my team basically. I don't want to sell my late. How many laser rifles do I have? If I have eight laser rifles. I think I'll. Well, I could I could use these for backup because I do have uh, what's it called on. So I do have like that. So power source because I think I definitely need these Gauss rifles now. I forgot to get big packs of. I don't even have the alloys. Okay, whatever. The three. Do we have interrogate sectoid done soon? Covert ops could be the next mission. Mm, sorry, my friend. My friends in. Huh? Is that the terror ship, or is that like a base assault? Or maybe maybe you're not gonna do anything. That's fine by me too. Like, this just allows us to get our UFO power sources, but we, we don't have it. We just need Xenogenics. This is probably something we should have done a long time ago. Actually, can we do any foundry projects? No, no, because we don't have alloys, right? So, okay, never mind about that. No. I'm gonna keep all of these because you never know when. I'll lose somebody and then I'll need them. Great. So yeah, Covert Ops is the next mission. Let's see if it's a eight-man mission or if it's a four-man. It's an eight-man mission, so let me set this up. I'll be right back. You know what Exalt needs? Exalt needs two freaking rockets to you. Two freaking rocketeers to blow the crap out of them. So this is what I'm bringing in since I'm saving my engineers for capture missions now. Um, other than that, this is basically just an A-team setup. I think 
some of these people are just regular sergeants, but I, I think it's because I have so many scouts that it's hard for me to focus on just one scout. They always seem to get injured, apparently, because I don't have many high rank scouts available. Uh, other than that, hopefully it'll go okay, so let's get started. I'm actually excited for Exalt missions because they're an awesome way to farm money. Fortunately, I didn't, uh, what's it called, Exalt has a new scan in time. That was actually a really we'll fast cooldown from while the data is being secured. my last Covert Ops mission, I think. They attack pretty rapidly. Raised by panic, but luckily it was in a country with low panic, so... What's it going to lose in our country? Now this map is going to be fun for two rocketeers, I think. data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter. Oh, maybe not so fu much fun. It might be hard to blow them up. They'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. We okay, which way objective. do I want to go? Probably this Commander, way. Exalt forces are in position to hack the encoder. If we don't secure that... Oh, man, this again. The transmitter. So shall you fight. This crap again. Huh? Well, let's keep moving then. Look at Exalt's already there. As always. What jerks? Okay, they must be like right on the edge of like one of these things there. I'm rolling. Let's gotta move as fast as we can. Because we don't have time to waste. I like dash here. I'm not gonna like trigger anything, right? I think I won't gain any additional sights. Rush Van Dorn up. This is Tessie's tanky, and I'll be able to smoke up if I do fuck up. Nope, oh, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna move as fast as we can then. I'm gonna move our scout last. Or sorry, our yeah, medic going. last. In case I do need to smoke up. Moving out. This way I'll be able to make haste. Got a lot of sprinters too, that's good. Um, let me move you here. Let's move your our medic. Maybe we can move Nat a little bit. Oh, Nat, that's far. Okay. When you love us. Let's shift Nat over here this way then. Let's move. Inch a little way. forward. Really edging it. Okay. You're going to just hunker down like a good little little operative. Maybe I should have given you a pistol since you got a hole of targeting. We can just like take pot shots and light people up. Well, I'm sorry, Bradford. I couldn't do shit because of how you spawned us. I'm gonna blame you instead of the ex instead of the uh, the devs now. I blame you for this. This is all your fault. Oh man, I didn't get sight yet. Come on, I want to trigger these guys. There you are. Get over here so I can freaking kill you. Let's see, how are we going to do this? I can always toss a smoke grenade and try to alpha them. Might be not such a bad idea. Scatter's a little high. Oh well, no one lives forever. Yeah, that was a pretty good uh, rocket. That was a good rocket. Nat, he's for you. Actually, it's not 100%. Well, Nat has the best accuracy, anyways. 
So I don't think anyone's gonna get better chance to hit. Now let's bring you here. You can finish him off. Two down. Let's see. You are next. And next in line is you. Oh, this is another pot that wants to pop up. So I guess I am popping a smoke grenade then. Unless, unless I want to really just go crazy. I am popping a smoke grenade anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, come on. And this doesn't really matter. I can't even hold this. Oh, frick! I can't even hold the encoder anyways. Yeah, I missed. Save our medic. That would suck if I use you. And it's dead smoke as well. It's, who needs cover? Alright. Let's just finish you off then. Or let's see, is there anything I could do with you? Be something I could do with you. Yeah, I might as well start moving you, right? I should just keep you there. They don't have eggs. I'd smoke up these people up here, so so it's not like a massacre. <laughs> Let's see. I think everybody smoked up. They better be, otherwise I'm going to be very sad. A very sad individual. Uh, maybe I should move before, just so I can. What's it called? Get there. To that comms relay in case I need it. I can flashbang you. Exaltus hacked the encoder, Commander. By now they'll be shifting forces. I did all I could, Bradford. I blame you. To protect that gear or we'll lose the data. Objectives updated. Oh, looks like they want to shoot. Ew. Got a lucky shot off on that guy down there. That sucks. I'll probably just disable them then. Uh, next turn. Well, maybe. Think about it. Come on, don't let my... Okay. That guy took a took an unfortunate hit, but we're, picking we're okay. Exalt forces near strike one's position, Commander. Yeah, I think we're gonna disable these guys. So I don't get into a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna disable these guys. Okay. It's running gun. Hunt him down. Yeah, I'm not gonna rapid fire because that would be exceeding. Exalt has a number of communications relays nearby. If our operative can get in close to one and use the encryption keys recovered with the enemy data, they should be able to temporarily disable Exalt's comm systems. I'm just gonna the jump down and are down. That should keep Exalt kill these busy guys for a while. Spread out and jump down and execute all of these guys right away. Come on! I won't go down with a fight. That's why I love rockets. You might need some medical attention, though. So let's. Get you healed up. 
We'll just kill these guys and let the other guys run forward towards the comms relay. Or uh, transmitter, whatever this crap's called. Let's see, do we have any easy shots? Yeah, this is kind of an easy shot. Let's take it. Uh, now I can't see him, unfortunately. Or as I could have. I think I should try for him. I have two shots as well. Okay, need one more. Nope, that's okay. Just we're to spread out. Still take cover, it doesn't really matter. No. Let's kill you. Now this is why I wish I brought like a grenadier as well. This one could have been even funnier this mission. These guys are pretty tanky though. Okay, let's whack you. Alright. You're next. We just need to make sure we kill the guys with grenades. Uh, rockets are disabled as well when... Oh wait, he's not gonna be... Yeah, he's gonna be disabled. So... It's not gonna matter. I don't have to worry about Grenadiers. You have a rocket too, so I guess I'll shoot for that guy. I think you are a... Yeah, you are some of the grenade, I think. Yeah, you see it right there. Alright, I don't care. Exalt forces less attempting you guys to do. access the transmitter, Commander. If we don't stop them from capturing it, we'll lose the data. It looks like this is the last of the hostile reinforcements, Commander. We just need not to many reinforcements. Pretty, pretty su big surprise. I'll just uh, wreck these guys then. Is there gonna be in there? What? Oh no, that's just a car blowing up. That's fine. Right, where's the other? It's right there. So let's head towards that. Operative. Can't do crap anyways. We're not gonna just stay there though. It's just in case I trigger something else. I don't know if there's gonna be more waves or not. Since I'm not psychic, unfortunately. Alright. Good. Gotta kill this guy. He's gonna be the... Oh no, that, this guy's gonna be like the most annoying. He only has like... He only has 3 HP though. Still. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kill him this turn though. Somebody. Perfect, Nat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nats. I can inch you here. Oh, is that a double move? Whoops. My bad. Pretty on points today, so that's pretty good. Uh, okay, you, you can stay back here if you want. Medic hasn't fired yet. Might as well have you fire once. Maybe that's why you don't fire. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Bersaglio neutralizzato. Um my way. This here. Ah oh, frick! That's not good. I forgot to think that there could be another wave. Um, that's really bad. That's that was a boneheaded move. Oh, well, just gotta make the best out of it, right? Take out as many of these guys as I can. 
won't even have a smoke grenade. Maybe I'll get really lucky. Is that it? I, oh, wait, wait, they're still disabled, right? Okay, 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 okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Never mind. Never mind, right there. They were still disabled from earlier. That, that was all intended. That was perfectly all intended. Right. I planned that out from the get-go. Yeah. Alright. Totally planned that out. Yeah, let's move forward. There's another pod too. Okay, I guess I'm gonna disable all of these guys. Probably try to shred them as well. I can get this rocket through. Maybe I should. Eh. Well, I'm gonna disable them, right? So. Let's do that first. Make sure I can actually do it, which I can. We've disrupted the enemy communications network. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. And then let's shred them. All right. Uh, hopefully we can get all of these guys as we can. That's three of them. Could have been worse. You need to reload soon. But we'll have plenty of time for that later. You. Nope. Why am I even taking cover? Forward, forward, forward. Those are a little difficult to kill, it looks like. You want to spread out a little bit, though. Okay, probably just reload with you, then. Okay. Just reload with you as well. Yeah, you can't even see. Um, not a really fruitful turn, unfortunately. We have one of these guys. I'm still stuck defending here. Well, now my running guns up, I might be able to dash all the way over here. Not 100 percent sure of that though. We'll see. That would be nice if I was able to do that. This is where having an engineer helps. Alright. Still alive, so let's move you here. Alright. And I guess, well, let's make sure I can get there. Yes, I can. It will just bonsai them. You'll be easy to kill with a sawed off shotgun, too, I think. If I crit. This is why I like the sawed off shotgun on, on my operatives. Even, it might not be the best choice, but it's definitely the coolest looking choice. And that matters half the time. Moving. Like, being able to say that you picked the coolest option is definitely worth it. Okay, well, I, I'll be able to take two shots with you, but maybe it's better just to get one shot off, one good shot off. Yeah, right. 
Let's kill you. I'm A okay with just getting one nice shot off. Where are the two crappy shots? You are next. Nope. Yeah, I really wish I had a, a rocket. Screw these guys over. Nope. All right. Well, you're an infantry. You might as well take a shot, right? This guy's this guy's getting dodging. Unfortunately. My covert ops has got two kills, surprisingly. No, no, I oh, I think I forgot to click this button. Oh no, that's bad. Cover the flank. Damn. That okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I actually forgot to disable this. That was so bad. That was such a big, big mistake. Oh my god, but I, I'm, I guess I'm not gonna pay for it, luckily. Oh my god, that was... Okay, now, now, now I'm actually in a pretty bad position. I forgot to actually click that button, oh my god. That was horrible of me. I can't believe I did that. I just got too happy. Out of ammo here. Uh, blowing up traitors. Okay, uh, who did I take care of first? Oh uh, well, I guess you, since I can't see the other guy behind me. I'll probably smoke you up then. That's a given. You, though, are going to die. No crit, but that's okay. He's, he's in a lot of trouble. What am I going to do about these two? That's not what I'm going to do to one of them, at least. Let's go all in on him, or I could disable his weapon too. Ah, uh, I think going for the kill is actually safer than disabling his weapon. Probably have like 80% chance to disable his weapon anyways. Okay, what's next? On my way. Forward. Forward advance. Okay, Nat, I guess you gotta take a shot. Take a crappy shot, but. Oh, nice! You actually hit it. Good, good, good. I won't go down without a fight. Um. I guess I move this way. Oh, well. Yeah, I figured it missed. Okay, I'm worried about him, but you know what? He's Red Fog. Let's see what he's gonna do. Right, he's gonna just move closer. That's fine. Yeah, okay, so I might have made a stupid move, but it worked, it worked out A-OK. -okay. Life is good to me. Life worked out for me. Okay, we're just going to. Oh, wait, that's not gonna be enough. Never mind. Headed there now. This will be enough, though. Why? Why do I have a sixty-four percent chance? Durr. Okay. Damn it. 
Or are we gonna be like that? Heading to that location. Oh come on. Okay. I'm just finish him off with a friggin' pistol. Oh wait, your pistol. Yeah, I don't know why I don't flank him from here. But whatever. Yeah, okay, so... Could've lost my operator there, but... And the game worked out for me. I didn't have you guys notice that I didn't click that stupid little thing. Okay. Intel decryption uh, completed. Recalculating possible... All's well that ends well. I have Goss weapons, hopefully. No, yeah, one thin man captive for three scientists? Of course, I'll take that. They must really was the thin man captive. What are you gonna do? God damn it! Why why can't it just be a base assault? <laughs> so what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. <laughs> it only took me six months plus to research this, huh? Oh my god, it's kind of funny thinking, thinking about it that way. Okay, well now we'll need our metal. We'll do Xenocionics next. Or maybe Chrysalid Autopsy, so that'll be good for a vital point targeting. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a Chrysalid. Yep. Yeah, okay. How much power do I have? I got 11 power. I can build my genetics lab. I might as well wait for... Uh, what's it called? I might as well wait for the Psy lab. Because I'm not going to be doing any gene mods on anybody for quite a bit, I think. Yes, we got our first Gauss rifles coming out. Gauss all rifles too. Um, no, I think I need these flight computers starting soon. That's been very quiet, hasn't it? Well, yeah, they're a covert ops scan then. Intel scan complete. Exalt cell location confirmed. So who will we stick in? Uh, no. This will stick in their assault. Go down the list quite a bit. You are very similar to your other friend. Smoke grenade, where is that? Where's smoke grenade? There we go. And you got a bow scanner to boot as well. I remember when all we heard about were flying saucers. Contact detected. That's gonna be our next mission. Yeah, okay, so I think I'll save that for tomorrow. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like. If you'd like to continue supporting this channel, please hit that subscribe button. So thanks for watching, guys. XR Merit signing out.